got a little piece of string here. I'm going to take this and I'm going to tie it right here at the top. Tie these three bamboo stakes to keep them together. Then I'm going to cut another piece. I'm going to tie it down here just to kind of support and get these couple of stems that are already on this plant. I want to get them where they're kind of up closer to the stakes. I'm not tying it real tight, just tight enough that it'll stay there and keep these pieces up here beside these stakes. Mm -hmm. We don't always think of plants as being able to feel stuff the way we can build stuff, but plants, a lot of plants anyway, I don't know if all of them can, but a lot of plants can sense when they're touching something, especially mm -hmm. plants like this that are vining type plants and they want to find something to grow up on. They do not produce a stem that is thick enough, strong enough, heavy enough to support themselves, so to grow higher they have to find something to wrap around and hang on to somehow. They have to have something else to support them. And as these stems grow, hopefully they get up against one of these bamboo stakes and when they touch it, they know something's there and they'll start to wrap around it. Anything they touch up against, they'll start to wrap themselves around it. Once the plant gets full, and grow and they'll kind of wrap around each other. They'll wrap around uh, fences. You can plant them by fences and stuff like that. You can build a trellis system. And once they get started, they'll hang on to it themselves. So mm -hmm. these, will, these particular plants will actually, the stems will actually start wrapping around whatever they took. I gotta get a little fertilizer. I gotta step out and grab that. My bucket of fertilizer is over out of the picture because it's been kind of missed in sprinkling rain a little bit out here this morning. So I've got it sitting over where it can't get any rain in it. That's why I got to step over to grab it. I don't have it right here beside me because it's been sprinkling a little off and on. And this plan is finished. I'll take it real quick over here and set it by the others and we'll do another one. simply repeat the same process. I'll try to hold this. I don't know if y'all can see inside the pot, but you can see I've got pot and soil in there up to about this level right here on the pot inside. And that'll set my pot, when I take my plant out of my one gallon pot, that'll set it at about the right level down inside the bigger new pot. This one's got a little bit longer stems. If they're really long, I've got some that are really long that I wind up having to trim them off a little bit. These are not that long, so I won't have to trim these. Do the same thing, kind of get it loosened up in the pot and come out pretty easily there. Fill it. See if I can hold it, maybe y'all can see in here. I've got it down a little bit below the top of the pot. 
potting soil is up to about right here in it. I leave a little bit of space in there. I don't want to put the potting soil all the way to the very top of the pot. I want to leave it down below the top just a little bit. Now because this one has got a little bit longer stems on it already, a couple little bit longer pieces, I'm going to go ahead and put four foot sticks in this one. I'm going to have to get busy and order me some more bamboo steaks because I'm almost out. I'm not going to have quite enough to do all my plants right now. Mm -hmm. That's okay. It don't take, if the supply house has got them in stock, it don't take too long to get them. Just in case anybody's interested, I order this stuff. The place I order a lot of my supplies from is a place called Greenhouse Megastore. It's online, and there's probably other places, similar places out there. I found Greenhouse Megastore, and I've been happy with what I've got from them. One of the things I like about them is you can order smaller quantities. Some of the supply houses are geared towards selling to larger nurseries and you have to buy a lot more than what I'm going to use around here in several years. So that's one of the reasons I use that particular place. Mm -hmm. I haven't spent a ton of time looking to see if there's any other places out there that probably is. So that's one of the reasons I've stuck with them is because I can buy smaller quantities so I don't have this stuff sitting around for years and years before I use it up. Mm -hmm. Thank awesome. you.